Hello and welcome to the new Pixel Creator Pro 5. My name is Kevin, I'm the creator and developer, and I'll be your guide throughout these series of video demonstrations. In this first video, we're just going to give you a quick overview of some of the unique features in the new Pixel Creator Pro 5 and what makes it stand out from its competition. We truly believe feature for feature, Pixel Creator Pro is one of the most unique album design softwares available, and once you understand how it works and all of the features that we've put into the new Pixel Creator Pro 5, I think you'll find it really stands out from the competition. These tutorials are going to be dedicated to the PC version of the new Pixel Creator Pro 5. So if you're a PC user, these tutorials are for you. And for you Mac users, we have a separate series of tutorials that show you the new Pixel Creator Pro 5 for Mac. For these series of tutorials, we're going to be using the new Photoshop CS4 on a Windows Vista platform. Now, I am going to be using the 64-bit version of Photoshop CS4, so for those PC users who are using the 64-bit version of Photoshop on your Windows platform, you will be able to use the new Pixel Creator Pro 5 in 64-bit mode. It also will work in the 32-bit mode if you need to be using the 32-bit mode for some of the other plugins that you may have that don't work with the 64-bit mode of Photoshop CS4. Now for those of you who have already upgraded to the new Windows 7, Pixel Creator Pro has no complications with Windows 7 either. So if you have Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and any version of Photoshop, whether that be Photoshop CS2, CS3, or the new CS4, Pixel Creator Pro 5 is going to work just fine for you. With all the formalities out of the way, we can go ahead and get started using the new Pixel Creator Pro. So the first thing that we need to do in any type of design layout is we need to figure out what size the overall height and width of the design that we're going to be creating is going to be. And so we're going to be using Pixel Creator, the new document tool here in the new Pixel Creator Pro 5. We'll click on that and that will bring up a dialog box where we have a bunch of pre-designed presets. Now, not only does Pixel Creator Pro come with a bunch of pre-designed presets for various different types of products, various different companies, but you can also create your own. Now, we won't get into that here, but let's go ahead and begin using our user-defined category with a simple 10 by 20 layout. What that does, of course, it creates a blank 10 by 20 page with a series of guidelines that we pre-specified for this particular preset. Now, Pixel Creator Pro is going to be utilizing Photoshop as well as Adobe Bridge. And of course, Adobe Bridge comes with Photoshop. And the new Adobe Bridge in CS4 is absolutely killer. So if you've used Bridge previously and it was slow and sluggish, you don't have that issue with the new CS4 Bridge. Now, for those of you who may be using Lightroom, Pixel Creator Pro is not going to integrate with Lightroom. Um, because Lightroom doesn't have all the functionality uh, that Adobe Bridge has as it relates to communicating with Photoshop. Now down the road, who knows what might happen with Lightroom, but for now, you could still use Lightroom if you're currently using Lightroom to do your raw conversions and your image retouching and so forth. You could still use Lightroom, but we're going to be using Adobe Bridge when we're in working with our images and our templates. So let's begin by going into Adobe Bridge and let's go to our templates here that in Pixel Creator Pro and let's open up one of our templates. Now the templates in Pixel Creator Pro, the album templates, are primarily designed by number of image openings. We actually have lots and lots of templates here in Pixel Creator Pro. There's over a thousand pre-designed layouts and they can be used for any size output so all the templates will scale to any size output that you're looking to, to do. So we're going to start with a three opening template here and let's start with this template right here. Now the way these templates are, are constructed is you have a JPEG thumbnail and then you actually have the template file itself. So to generate the template we see here, we simply double click on the template file and whatever page size that we had open in Photoshop, that template is going to be automatically scaled to fit that page size. So all the layer styles, text layers, image openings, and so forth are, have all been created for us. Once the template is generated, we get this dialog box asking if we want to populate this template with images. Well, for this purpose, I'm going to choose yes. 
And then what it will do is it will pop open another dialog box asking if we want to use Bridge to populate this template. Well, in this case, we do. Now, all the templates in Pixel Creator Pro are fully automated. So we can utilize those templates completely standalone. We don't even need Pixel Creator Pro to work with these templates. And what it's showing us here is the image opening here on the left has been turned red. There's a selection around it, and that is where the image that we select is going to be populated. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into Adobe Bridge and we have a shortcut to an image folder and I'm going to select an image and then I'm going to choose yes to populate that image into our layout. Pixel Creator Pro goes to work, resizes the image to fit our image opening and drops it right into place for us. And then it'll move right on to the next image opening in our layout. Now in this particular case we actually have two image openings remaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Adobe Bridge, but this time we're going to select two images. Come back over here to Photoshop, and when I click yes, then both of those images will be resized to fit those image openings. So there goes the first one. I'll hit enter, and then it'll go right on to the next image opening. Next thing I might do is I might go ahead and change my background color to black. Now we could click on our background layer, we could change our foreground color to black, we could go up to the edit menu and choose fill with our foreground color. We could do all those things in Photoshop, but wouldn't it be much easier if we had Pixel Creator Pro, we can click on layout tools and black background and it does that for us. So while it's a basic function of Pixel Creator Pro, it's a productive one. We don't have to think about that. We don't have to think about selecting the background layer, changing our foreground color to black, and then finally using Photoshop's command to fill that background layer. It's all built into Pixel Creator Pro. So we have a great looking layout so far. Well, one of the neat features in Pixel Creator Pro is the ability to switch an image from one opening to another. It's a huge time saver and it's something that we're going to be doing all the time when we're doing our album design. So for example, let's say I wanted this image in the lower right hand corner to actually be the large image on the left and then the large image on the left to be in the lower right hand corner. All I have to do is select both of those image layers and you can see I have both of those image layers selected here in Photoshop. And, when I, and then when I come into my layout tools, I simply choose Swap Selected Images and Pixel Creator Pro goes to work. It re remembers where these images came from. So it goes and grabs the original high res file that we had on the left and resizes it to fit our image opening here on the right. And then it remembers the image opening that we had here on the right and it will open up the original high res file and resize it for the image opening on the left. And it does it all automatically. So the original image layers are deleted. Those have gone away. And there is our image opening here now on the left. Pretty nifty stuff. So huge time saver that swap image tool on something that you're going to be using again and again and again. Now from here we can continue to modify the layout. So for example, one of the things that we might often want to do is either drop in a background texture file or a background image. Um, and we can certainly do that with this template. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our background layer. I'm going to make a selection of the entire canvas and I'm just going to use my keyboard shortcut here of control A. That will select the entire canvas. And then I'm going to come into Adobe Bridge and I have a shortcut to some texture files. So I simply select one here in Adobe Bridge and then choose Insert Photo here in Pixel Creator Pro. And because we had a selection present, Pixel Creator knows that we need a new image layer and then the texture file that we selected will be resized to the same height and width of that selection that we just made. So now you can see we have a really nice looking texture that we added to the background of our layout. Now anytime that we add an image opening using Pixel Creator Pro, we get this little red stroke around the image opening and we can just use our layer styles here in Photoshop to turn that off.
or we could actually come into our layers palette and turn it off manually that way as well. So you can see that we have a great looking layout going. Now just to finish this off we could do a couple of things. One thing we could do is copy the layer style that the image openings on the right use. So we could select that, come into layer styles, copy layer style, and then we could click on the image opening here on the left and paste that layer style. Or we could simply use Photoshop for that as well. So we could right click on a layer here in our layers palette and choose copy layer style and then we could click on our leftmost image opening and choose paste layer style. So there's a variety of ways to copy a layer style from one layer to another. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my left image opening and choose paste layer style and that will simply paste the layer style over to this image opening. Just to show you some of the other editing capabilities in Pixel Creator Pro that will be commonplace is maybe I want to change the overall window size. I don't want to affect my image but I do want to change the window size. So we come into layout tools and choose adjust aperture and that will allow us to change the size of our window. So we simply can drag our window size, make it a little bit smaller. If we want to do something like that and then we could reposition our image within. So we just have a lot of flexibility there. One last thing that we might want to do here is maybe we want to add a photo edge effect to this particular image opening. So I'm going to come back into my layout tools and choose adjust aperture and I'm going to actually make that image opening a little bit wider like it was originally. And then I'm going to add a photo edge effect to this. So I'm simply going to come into photo edges here in Pixel Creator Pro and we'll just choose apply edge to the first edge effect here and then Pixel Creator Pro goes to work applies that edge effect to our image layout. And then I'm just going to turn off the layer style and there's our image. Now I do want to make an adjustment to the edge effect so I'm going to go back into adjust aperture here and let's just go ahead and make an adjustment here. So I'll make this a little bit bigger I'm going to pull this out a little bit. There. So we can fine tune that edge effect once we've already uh, positioned it uh, in our layout. One last thing, just to kind of maybe spruce this up just a little bit more, is I'm going to create an underlay edge effect. So I'm going to come back into Photo Edges. I'm going to choose a different edge effect, and I'm going to choose the U for Underlay. And all that's going to do is create a nice little uh, underlay white with an edge effect applied to it. And there we have a totally custom layout. Now I could go on and on and on in modifying this layout however I like, but I think I'll stop right there for this particular example. So anyhow, you get the idea how easy it is to, number one, take a template drop in our photos and then we from there we can modify the template by adding our background image which in this case we added a background texture modifying our layer styles and we also in this case added a couple of photo edge effects to the layout just to kind of spice things up a bit. So that is just a couple of the basic tools here in Pixel Creator Pro and I certainly would encourage you to take a look at the other tutorials here on the website and get a more in-depth look at all the different functions here in the new Pixel Creator Pro 5. Thanks for watching.